From the 1930-40s, Movie Originals presents The King's Speech. You must be the Queen Mum. Yes, but I'm in disguise. I see. And this is His Majesty? Yes, he's in disguise too. And he speaks in a funny way. I'm Burba Burba Bertie, the Ker 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 King. I'll take this case. Per 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 people of Ker 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 Great. Burbabur Britain and the Kirkaka colonies. In this Gurkaka grave are Papa possibly the Murmur most Fur fateful in our her her history. Yes, I can see the problem already. The reason you're sounding like a gibbering halfwit is you're repeating the first letter of words for no reason at all. It's not Papa people, it's people. Don't say the P three times. Simply say it once, then crack on with the rest of the world. People. That's it. Of ga 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 great ba 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 Britain. No, you're doing it again. Yet more gibberish. Remember, your three times business is a silly business. Cut it out. People of Great Britain and the colonies. In this grave hour, perhaps the most fateful in our history. Cured. Hello, darling. I'm cured. I must have sounded like a demented buffoon with my idiotic three times business. Why on earth did nobody tell me before? We're all too British and polite, darling. Whereas I'm an Australian copper bellabong. I have no manners, so I was able to blurt out the problem in an uncouth way. Here's a little something for your travel. Well, thank you very much. Blimey, kangaroo. Lummy, now you've got me at it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>